David Sobel, I'm a real estate attorney here in Michigan. Last week, James wrote in, uh, he's from South Lyon, and he and his wife are buying a new construction home in South Lyon, Michigan. Uh, they're having a major disagreement with the builder about the integrity of the home's foundation. And so they don't want to move forward, and they say that they want their $55,000 uh, earnest money back, uh, which is the deposit they placed with the builder initially. According to James, the builder says that the contract requires that the parties arbitrate their dispute. And James wants to know if he can just go to court instead and what the difference is between arbitration and going to court, uh, otherwise known as litigation. Well, first of all, James, I'm really sorry for your circumstance. Uh, building a home is actually never easy. Uh, when it comes to real estate, especially, you see a lot of arbitration contracts. That real estate and sales contracts contain arbitration clauses almost regularly. And um, we're, really, the parties are agreeing to a contract uh, that says that they agree not to litigate but instead to go to a less formal decision-making process called arbitration. So if a contract, however, calls for arbitration, uh, then the case cannot be litigated in a court of law unless the parties actually agree at a later date to um, basically waive that provision and go to court. So arbitration and litigation actually have the same goal, but how they go about resolving the issue is actually very different. So when it comes to resolving a dispute, Litigation is actually based upon age-old uh, history. It's deeply rooted in centuries of English and American history and jurisprudence. Uh, it involves determining issues through the court system, and uh, that involves a judge and a jury, of course. Uh, when you bring a, co a court case, uh, you know, and where you bring it, it's going to be brought depending upon the type of dispute uh, in, that, that's involved and where the matter arose and by how much uh, is involved in the dispute. So, for instance, in circuit court, uh, which is a state court, uh, circuit courts hear cases uh, that involve over $25,000 or they have uh, been assigned specific types of cases. They have what we call jurisdiction. In real estate cases, circuit courts hear such things as quiet title actions or specific performance matters dealing with real estate purchases. Uh, district courts, however, which are state courts, will handle matters involving $25,000 or less. So how long a matter actually takes to resolve will also depend upon the complexity of a matter. And when it comes to arbitra arbitration, parties really are avoiding the court system altogether. And the parties are going to hire a disinterested third party in, a, in an attempt to resolve a dispute. In arbitration, there may be one arbitrator or there could be several who hear both sides of the issue and then they make a decision. Uh, unlike litigation, which makes a case open to the public, uh, the court, uh, you know, in, in litigation, the court will set the case schedule for hearings and discovery and the parties, uh, you know, don't really have much of a choice. They have to follow what the court tells them. But in arbitration, the parties can make the process less formal. And absent any contract terms to the contrary, the parties can actually pick who will arbitrate the case and they'll decide amongst themselves the timeline for scheduling their case. And they can also decide uh, if they want the arbitrator, uh, if they want his decision or her decision to be binding or non-binding. Uh, this, this actually has a huge impact. Uh, for instance, binding arbitration, those decisions can never be appealed unless there's fraudulent behavior that has, uh, can be proved by a party and you have to go to actual court to prove the fraudulent behavior by an arbitrator. And it's very difficult. It's a very high threshold. So you really can't appeal binding arbitration. Arbitration is usually a faster and more private way to resolve a dispute than litigation. My experience when it comes to litigation is it can take anywhere from 90 days to about 18 months to litigate a matter. But if you go to arbitration, it could take uh, 60 days. Um, but th there's another issue, and that's arbitration is just as costly as going to court uh, as the parties actually have to pay the hourly rate of the arbitrator or arbitrators, and that can be very expensive. And in litigation, you know, a judge is just a, a public servant, uh, and, and uh, the court system is actually paid by taxpayers, uh, the cost of that court system. But litigants are actually paying their attorneys in litigation over a much longer period of time to get through the process. So the appeal of using arbitration is, is that it's usually quicker uh, to resolve a matter. 
it can be less costly than going to, uh, to court in litigation, and it can be less formal. So my suggestion, James, you've already signed a contract, but for those people who are looking uh, at this video, you know, before you sign any type of real estate contract or any sales contract, you should definitely determine if there's an arbitration clause uh, recorded in, in the event of a dispute. Because if you agree to go to arbitration again, you have very few choices but to go to arbitration. Courts will not hear cases with arbitration. Uh, clauses. Anyway, so um, I hope this was helpful to you, James. If you, uh, the viewing audience, likes this video, uh, please care to share it with your family and friends. You can also leave a review on what you like about it. Please feel free to write in uh, into the comments section under the video other topics that you'd like for us to discuss. Right now, I'm getting quite a few inquiries and questions that come because of these videos uh, through our email. So if you wish to submit your own legal question, uh, you can email me or email us at team at provenresource.com. And uh, I welcome it. And it, we have quite a few questions these days. So if you need any further information, you're also welcome to contact me, David Sobel, at 888 or you can contact me at provenresource.com.